So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a steak and kidney pie at home. If you don't like kidneys, you can omit it and add some extra pepper, black pepper, to make it into a nice peppery steak pie. So to start off, you'll heat some oil in a pot. Add one roughly chopped onion, a couple of bay leaves, about three bay leaves, cloves, allspice, some peppercorns, and give it a good stir and let it brown nicely. Then you add some of your garlic, give it a stir, and then you add about 500 gram steak and 200 gram lamb kidneys cut into bite sized pieces, one to teaspoon salt according to your taste, one to teaspoons of pepper, stir. So it can uh, the spices can coat the meat very nicely. And add some water as needed. So don't and then you'll leave the uh, put the lid back on. So then you'll cook it until it's nice and tender, the meat is tender. In the meantime, you'll soak about two tablespoons of sago in a bit, no, half a cup of water. And when your meat is nice and tender, you'll add the sago and cook it until it's completely done and the sago has become transparent. Then you'll take about 500 gram of pastry, roll it into a nice circle. to fit approximately 25 centimeter diameter dish. So you'll get about two uh, pies out of this filling. So you'll line one, the bottom, one piece of pastry on the bottom of the pie dish. And you can see I've made it nice and thin because you don't want the thick pastry at the bot uh, on the base. It doesn't cook through and your pastry will puff up a bit as well in, while it's cooking. So, yeah, I prefer a, thin, a thinner pastry. And trim the edges. But you can, if you prefer your pastry to be a bit thicker, you can obviously roll your pastry thicker. And then you pour in your completely cooled filling. Make sure you remove all the allspice and cloves. So, if, for instance, if you put three allspice and cloves in, take three out because it's nothing worse than biting on a clove or allspice. And obviously the bay leaves as well. Remove those. Spread it out nicely. You will roll out another piece of pastry for the top layer. And I've got a pastry recipe on uh, Facebook and YouTube as well. Just have a look for um, Kate Millay Cooking, Salwa Smith, and then you will find my pastry recipe as well. The link to my pastry video tutorial. Okay, so you'll put the top layer on and then close it nicely and trim it, the excess. Right. And that, that excess of flour you can roll up again and use it, reuse it as well. So I always take a, a small, a thin strip to make the edges and then we'll crimp the edges. But you don't need to crimp it as well, you can just uh, finish it off by pressing the, uh, uh, the edges together and maybe use a fork as well. To crimp it. Right. And then make a few slits on top for the air for the to cook through. Whisk an egg and brush generously all over the pie, top of the pie. The uh, egg wash gives a nice golden colour to the finished pastry or pie. And you, then you bake it for about 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or until nicely browned. And for this recipe, for this filling, you'll get about two round paste, uh, sorry, two round pies, 20, 
25 centimeter size. And there you have it, as easy as pie. Thank you for watching and don't forget to share this video so others can benefit. And uh, have a, a look on Facebook and YouTube at Cape Malay Cooking for further and more recipes. Thank you. And video tutorials.